Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, we will try to explore the concept of cloud native applications. First, let's examine the challenges associated with the traditional approach to application development and then we will delve into how cloud native approach addresses these issues, the underlying architecture and the advantages and disadvantages of adopting a cloud native approach. So without any further delay, let's get started. Let's consider the scenario of building a real-time analytics application. In this application, various systems such as IoT devices, user interactions generate events. These events are emitted, consumed, processed and stored to a database. The data is then visualized in dashboards and APIs are provided to access this data for UI. Additionally, the stream of events can be monitored to detect frauds and trigger alerts for immediate action. Please note that this is a very basic real-time analytics application for the demonstration of this video. The actual architecture may differ based on specific requirements. With the traditional approach, this type of application would be developed as a monolithic application where all the functionality is built into a single application. Now let's say lots of users are using this application and they are browsing the dashboards. Because of this, there will be too many calls to the API and to not compromise on performance, resources for the analytics API component should be increased, meaning this component should be scaled according to the demand. However, with the traditional approach, since all the features are bundled into a single fat application, it's difficult to allocate additional resources specifically for the API component. If at all we have to scale, we should scale the entire application which is inefficient. Moreover, as all the features are tightly coupled within a single application, introducing a new technology or framework becomes difficult limiting the flexibility. Also, adding new features or fixing bugs can be time consuming due to the monolithic nature of the application. Another drawback is that if there is an issue in any component, it impacts the entire application potentially leading to downtime. The traditional approach is less fault tolerant in this regard. Furthermore, traditional applications are typically deployed on virtual machines making them dependent on specific infrastructure. Making them to work on different operating systems requires extra effort and configuration. Additionally, traditional development teams often follow waterfall approach resulting in delayed releases. Deploying an application using the traditional approach involves manual steps, further affecting the efficiency. This is where cloud native approach comes into the picture. Cloud Native is a software development approach that focuses on building, deploying and managing modern applications in the cloud computing environments. Cloud Native applications are designed from the scratch to leverage the capabilities and benefits provided by cloud platforms. Let us see how this is different from the traditional approach. In the Cloud Native approach, instead of building all features into a single application, the application is broken down into smaller microservices. Each microservice focuses on a specific problem and communicates with other services using well-defined APIs. These microservices are loosely coupled, meaning they are independent software components that communicate with each other which makes the complete cloud native software. If there are any changes to be made, Developers make changes only to the specific service instead of touching the entire application. And as we discussed, scaling in traditional monolithic applications can be challenging as scaling one component often requires the scaling entire application. But in cloud native approach, as applications are built with microservices, each service can be scaled independently. This component level scalability is very helpful for the businesses experiencing the rapid growth or fluctuating workloads. Also cloud native applications offer greater flexibility when it comes to adopting a new technology or a framework. As each microservice is independent, developers can introduce new technology without impacting the entire application. 
This flexibility enables organizations to stay up to date with the latest technology advancements. Typically, microservices are packaged as lightweight containers that can be rapidly scaled in and out based on the demand. Container orchestration tools like Kubernetes manage the life cycle of these containers. This ensures high availability and fault tolerance which makes them resilient. As everything is encapsulated into containers, cloud native applications eliminate infrastructure dependencies. This isolation allows the application to be deployed in any environment with the container runtime engine making it highly portable. This portability enables the application to be moved seamlessly between different cloud providers or on-premises infrastructure. Also, as cloud native applications follow a DevOps approach, short release cycles are achieved through practices such as continuous integration and continuous delivery. And infrastructure as code like Terraform ensures consistent and reproducible environments, reducing human errors and helping in efficient deployment. Any application which is developed using all these components is set to follow the cloud native architecture. By adopting the cloud native approach, the same traditional application can benefit from scalability as cloud native architectures are designed to scale easily by leveraging cloud services, containerization and orchestration. Applications can be scaled horizontally by adding more instances based on the demand. This way, we can make sure that the same performance and user experience is maintained even if there is a huge traffic. We can also get flexibility as cloud native approach allows for the easy addition of the new features and updates to the specific services without impacting the entire application. We can also get resiliency as cloud native applications are designed to be resilient, meaning they can respond to failures without going down. Cloud native applications are built to handle failures and automatically recover from them ensuring continuous availability and reducing the downtime. Also we get high availability as features like self-healing, load balancing ensure that cloud native applications remain available even in case of failures or high loads. Deployment methodologies like Bluegreen and Canary further enhance availability without disturbing the user experience. Also cloud native applications are cheaper as they optimize the cost by efficiently utilizing cloud resources. Auto scaling allows applications to dynamically adjust resource allocation based on demand minimizing the resource wastage. Cloud services also offer flexible pricing models allowing organizations to pay only for the resources they consume. Cloud native applications are designed to be cloud agnostic meaning they can run on any cloud platform or in hybrid environment. This gives us the platform independence. And also the development is faster as cloud native development reduces the development time and enables the better quality applications. Developers build containerized applications with DevOps practices, enabling quick responses to changes and seamless deployment. But Cloud native architectures introduce additional complexity compared to traditional monolithic applications. Managing multiple microservices, containerization and orchestration platforms requires expertise in distributed systems, networking and infrastructure management. The learning curve and complexity of setting up and maintaining these environments can be challenging for some teams. But a team that is familiar with containerization technologies like Docker and container orchestration platforms like Kubernetes can leverage these advantages by adopting a cloud native approach. If you want to learn Docker, I have made a great series explaining the each concept of Docker with complete hands-on. Please feel free to check out this series. If you are new to Kubernetes, please feel free to watch my Kubernetes series for a detailed explanation of each concept with complete hands-on. The future of cloud native applications is highly promising. As more organizations migrate to cloud infrastructure, the demand for scalable and resilient applications will continue to grow. Additionally, the rise of artificial intelligence and machine learning is expected to further accelerate the adoption of cloud native applications. 
as AI and ML applications often require processing of large amounts of data in real time, the cloud native infrastructure provides the necessary agility and scalability to handle these workloads efficiently. Many well known companies like Netflix, Uber, and Airbnb use the cloud native approach to build their applications. That's it for this video. I hope you found this video very helpful. My name is Pawan Iltapu and I thank you very much for watching this video. If you liked it, please share it with your friends and do not forget to subscribe to my channel to not miss any updates.